Right, so when I was analysing these lyrics, a few things caught my attention that didn't quite make sense to me. Firstly, in the first line we have the word que, uh, which is supposed to mean and, here acting as a link between the words nertom, strength, and wolotom, wealth. Now this is the same word used in Latin for the same purpose, but in Gaulish there is a direct P-Celtic cognate to this term, which is pe. Now, I believe that both que and pe are attested in Gaulish inscriptions, but pe is the sort of more natural Celtic form, and que is either an archaic leftover from before the Proto-Celtic, or rather P-Celtic shift from que to pe, or is either that or it's a loan word from Latin. Uh, either way, pe would be my preferred form. Second, the first sentence of the lyrics, and this is one that's repeated throughout the song, is nertom wolotom que etisnis, which is meant to translate the English, we are strong and we are rich, but actually translates closer to we have strength and wealth. Now th this is all well and good, I can see what the translator was trying to do here, which is replicate the structure for saying have, which you find in modern Celtic languages, which in Irish is this, uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce it in my Irish, pronunciation is terrible, and in Welsh is my something, gyda, and then plus a noun or a pronoun. Uh, both of these roughly translate as there is something at or with something. So to say we have strength, you literally say there is strength at us or strength with us. And that's what I think the translators try to do here. Uh, now the reason I have a problem with this is firstly we don't know, we have no evidence that this structure was used in Gaulish, though it very possibly may have been since it's found in Greek. Um, and I think a similar uh, construction exists in Latin as well. And secondly, uh, there is an alternative and far more literal translation of the English that could have been used. This is the other way that Celtic languages express possession, through the use of the suffix ko, which has variant forms of iko, ako, quite a few actually. And it translates as anything from ish, like pertaining to, um, or more importantly, belonging to or having. For example, in Welsh we have the adjective guriog. I probably mispronounced that. Like my Irish pronunciation, my Welsh pronunciation is terrible. Uh, but guriog means having a husband. And this is derived from a form that in ancient P Celtic dialects, like Gaulish, would have been wiriakos from the words wiros, meaning man or husband, and ako, meaning having or possessing, it's like an ejectable suffix. Uh, it also happens that the reconstructed proto-Celtic words for strong and rich also use this suffix, added to the words nertom and wolotrom. Wolotrom? I can't say it. Wolotom, rather. Uh, that was used in this song. So for a more literal and true to the English translation of we are strong and we are rich, you'd say Nertaki ulotaki pe emosnis. Um, the last two words of that sentence also bring me on to the next point, um, which I find in a lot of reconstructions of Gaulish and of Celtic languages in general, and that is that the first person plural verb ending, um, which like here is usually reconstructed as mos. Uh, here we have emos, we are, and karamos, we love. <clears throat> the problem is that um, there's no evidence for this in Gaulish. Uh, the closest thing we have is a Celtiberian ending, which is mus. In Gaulish, instead, we find the first person plural ending as mu, in forms such as diwertomu and brigiomu. Uh, the ending was probably mus in earlier Gaulish, like it is in Latin, but seeing as the events the song describes took place in the first century BC, I'd go with Mu. Uh, the loss of the final S, like in, in Mus and Mu, uh, can also be applied to the word Snis, meaning we, which is actually attested in Gaulish as Sni, which is attached to the end of the verb as an enclitic. Now, so we have a better translation of some of the verbs in this song. We have 
emus instead of emusnis we have emusni instead of karamos we have karamu uh, this rule doesn't apply to widomor which means we know literally we have learned um because it's a deponent verb which means it takes a passive ending even though the meaning is is active it's complicated i won't go into it so with those changes put in we now have the lyrics as this 